go up and see Sway at Brody. I'll see you later. I have to go all the way around the front. I've been waiting for you, Marty. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've been waiting for you for a long time. There's nowhere to run, man. Nowhere to hide. Todd, listen to me. Oh, I have been listening to you all week. Must be great having a friend with her own radio show. Oh, get away from me! Nice try, babe. It's not good enough. Help me! Oh, no one can hear you. The music's too loud. All these doors are locked. Whoa! Deja vu! Help me! You listen to me. You listen to me very carefully. Because you know what happens to bad girls who don't listen, don't you? I said, don't you? Somebody, I please! Had an understanding, Marty. Help me! Marty, no, no, you have to go on the radio and tell the world all these lies about what happened in Springfield. <laughs> Who the hell do you think you are? You're a slut, Marty. You're just a slut. Now, you listen to me. You are not going back on that stand. There is not going to be a second trial. What? You're not going back on the stand. And you're not going back on that radio show either. What, you think so? You think you have to threaten me once and I'm going to give up? Forget it. You're going to go to prison time by the time I finish. Everyone in the whole world can know that piece of scum you really are. Oh, I'm sorry. No! Huh? No! Oh, no! You like that? Maybe I hurt you again like last time. You want that? Huh? Or maybe you get me all excited again. We do it right here in the alleyway. Huh? How does this feel, Marty? Huh? Oh, we haven't fun yet, Marty. Get your hands off. Luna, Luna, get your hands off her right now! Marty, you just come on over here to me, sugar. You just, just come on over here to me. Well, but isn't your friend from Radio Land, Daisy May, a friend of yours, Marty, come to join the party? Uh, uh, get your hands off her, Todd! Oh, sure, yeah, sure, I will. As soon as I teach both of you a lesson. Can't you see you're messing up, Todd? Can't you just see that? The only thing I see is two stupid little bimbos that don't know how to keep their damn mouths shut. Mm. Now, I thought I was a pretty good teacher, but it looks like I might have to give Marty here another lesson. No! Oh, leave her alone! Get your hands off of her for two! Who the hell do you think you are, huh? What, you think you could take me, both of you? You think you could take me? You think because you want to be like a man, Make you as good as a man! Somebody help! Oh, that's too bad, Marty. You see, if you want to get out of here, you gotta come through me. Somebody help! Oh, get my dress! The problem you two have is you don't know how to say, I lose. Especially you, Marty. Now I'm gonna have to just give you another lesson. Guess what, little loony bird? You get to watch. Huh? Won't that be fun? No.
God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Marty. Marty. Marty, it's okay. It's okay. Luna. It's me. Luna. You okay? You okay? Okay. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. It's done. Shh, shh. Get over here. Get over here. Did you kill him? How? What happened? You go on in Marty, what did he do to you? Don't stand there asking questions. Go, go. Right. Okay. Oh my God. What did I do? Oh my God. You saved my life. You saved my life. He was going to rape me again. He was going to rape both of us. You kept that from happening. on its way. What the hell is going on, Luna? He's got a pulse. It's real weak. Are you okay? I've been better. Come here. Who hit him? Maybe. Okay. I, I was coming out. I finished work at the radio station. I was coming out of my car. He was going to rape me again. Luna, too. I came out here. I saw him on top of Marty. Okay. I, Luna, it's all right. I picked up something. I don't know what. I started swinging. I don't even know what I had in my hand. What did you have in your hand? He's that the Wait. You hit him with that? Oh Luna. No, don't touch it, Luna. I don't like what I'm hearing here. You guys have a history. This is not going to come out right. What do you mean? I mean, the cops are going to be all over here. But the, the, there was a witness, pal, saw the whole thing. Yeah, he was, he was standing right there. When I got up, I saw him standing right there. He knew he, he knew why Luna hit him, because he was attacking me. And he, she, he knew that she was protecting me. He can tell the police that. Yeah, he could if he was here to do it. What? What do you mean? Powell? No, don't waste your breath, Marty. He told me to call for help. He said something about the two of you and Todd, and he was gone. I mean, before I even hung up the phone, he was gone. Oh, no. Who knows where he is now? Oh, my God. He's the only one who saw. He's my only witness. Stay out of the way. Pupils responsive. What, what does that mean? How's this pulse? Weak and threatening. Come on. Uh, is, is he all right? Somebody just tell me if, if, if he's all right. We're going on to we give him the R. Come on, let's move. All right. We saw what happened out here. Who's responsible? Well, somebody asked me who did it. The victim's name was Todd Manning. Who saw what happened? Somebody. Come on, somebody saw what happened. Luna, don't say anything. You leave her alone! Can you hear me? Stop, stop, stop. Stop.
did any of you? I did it. I'm responsible. Officer, she doesn't know what she's saying. She's just confused she about shocked. what happened. She's in shock. Everything happened so fast. All right, all right, hold it. Right now I'm talking to this lady. I'll get to you later. Your name, ma'am. Luna Moody, L. U-N-A, M-O-O-D-Y. And you say you're the one that hit the man? I was coming out from doing the love line. I'm Luna from the love line. I was going to my car like I always do. And I came out that door, and I saw him attacking Marty. Him? Look, it was Todd Nanny, man. Who do you think? He had her pinned up against that wall. He was practically trucking her to death, and I told him to get off her. I mean, he just laughed. He was, he was just really trying. If you don't mind, just one at a time, okay? She's right. He was really upset about us being on the radio. He said he was going to teach us both, both a lesson. He was like an animal. The more we fought, he just kept laughing and laughing. He had his bowl trapped. He was on top of me, and if I'd seen that pipe myself... Marty, I'll Marty, don't, don't, don't say anything. The music was so loud and rugged, nobody could hear us. We were both calling for help. He was going to rape me again. Tell him that. Tell him that. Yeah, he, 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 he was. He, he was so strong. Both of us were fighting on him, but it wouldn't work. And plus, he went and jammed that pipe in the gate right there. And then he slammed me up against that wall. And I passed out when I came to, and that's when I grabbed the pipe. He held me down. He held me down. He had me just like before, and I couldn't do anything. I couldn't. Yeah. We were screaming at him, we were screaming at him so hard, but he wouldn't stop. He kept hitting on us, so I knew I had to do something, so I grabbed it, I just... Is this the pipe right here? It was self-defense, anybody can see hey, that. Hey, hey, butt out. Uh, Nobody touched that pipe. Now, ladies, you're gonna have to come with me. Marty, no, no, you don't say another word. Nothing. D didn't I tell you to zip it? Yeah, and I heard you. I'm gonna go get Max and Swade, all right? And remember, now one more word, okay? Okay, ladies. You have to go with me. Luna. Luna, come on, we have to go now. Marty. What if I killed him? What if he dies? 